Hello, my name is Sunday Joseph Adenuga. I am with you again to, con to give you the concluding part of the presentation which I started sometimes ago titled Love Yourself. This is Love Yourself Part 2. Love Yourself. If you have not listened to Part 1, I would advise you to just scroll in this YouTube or go to my YouTube www.youtube.com slash success galore look for love yourself part one and listen to it then come back and listen to this part two now in part one i was trying to tell you that many people do not love themselves because they believe the world more than the word of god the real sign that you love yourself is to believe the word of god and stay by the word of God and stay with the word of God and stand on the word of God and refuse to move away from following the word of God that is how to show that you love yourself loving yourself is not a sin praise God I pray that God will give you wisdom to understand what I'm saying now the Bible says you can do all things through Christ that strengthens you. Accept this. You can succeed. You can make it. Now, by believing this, it's a sign that you love yourself. Because you are agreeing with God. You are accepting God's word. Accepting God's word is the same as accepting God's opinion. And accepting God's opinion is a show of love not only for God but for yourself God's word is God's opinion about you and God says you are important you are not a nobody you are not a non-entity you are somebody created for a reason created for a purpose so this is God's opinion that you are somebody stand with God against the devil not what your friends said not what your father said not what your mother said but what god says what they say may have an element of fact but what god says as an absolute truth as you know that facts can change in a moment of time within a few minutes a few days a few months a few years the fact of today can change but truth is what is the same 2,000 years ago today is the same 10,000 years to come it will continue to be the same that is the truth stand on the truth that does not change not on the facts that changes that is how to love yourself now the second thing to do if you want to love yourself is that you do not compare yourself with anybody else second Corinthians chapter 10 verse 12 Say we are not of them that compare ourselves with themselves, that compare themselves with themselves. Comparing yourself with another man is a sign that you do not love yourself because you are you. I am me. I am different from you. You are different from me. You can never be me. I can never be you. No matter how you struggle hard to be like me, you are going to be a fake me. Remain whom God has made you. That is how to love yourself. Don't try to be like somebody. Be yourself. Live for God and not for others. You see, in a car, the things that make up a car are so many components. Inside the car engine, there is a battery, there's a carburetor, there's a terminal wire, there is a contact set. All sorts of parts of engines are working together for the effective running of the car. In the church of Jesus, there are so many kinds of people. God made you there. Maybe you are a battery. Maybe I'm a carburetor. Whatever God has made you, be what he has made you and function in that office. That is how to love yourself and that is, and that is how to be successful. If you want to copy me and be like me, you can never be the original. You will be the fake me. And I'm not ready to be the fake anybody. You may be 
the president of the United States of America, praise God for you. I love you. I respect you. But you are you and I am me. What you are doing is important, but what I'm doing is equally important. You are not better than me. I am not better than you. Nobody is better than each other. We are created because God is a God of varieties. He loves to show the riches of his glory by making various types of people of which you are your type. You are in a class of your own. You don't need to be like somebody else. You will be fake. Be you. You are great. Simply great. Accept the you that God made. So don't compare yourself. That's how to love yourself. Number three, to love yourself. You have to love other people. If you really want to tell me or to tell God or to show the world that you love yourself, the only way to show it is by loving other people. Jesus said the first commandment is to love God. The second commandment is like it. Love your neighbor. And that is not only talking about your friends. That's talking about everybody. Everybody you meet, you need to love them. You need to show you love them. You need to show you care for them. That's how to do it. That's how to love yourself. When you love other people, you are loving yourself. When you care for other people, you are caring for yourself. Because what you sow is what you get. The Bible says in the book of Galatians chapter 6, it said, Be not deceived. God is not mocked. Whatsoever a man sows, that shall he also reap. Love yourself. And you can only show it by loving other people. Love other people. How do you show that you love other people? Number one, by helping them. Number two, by giving to them. There are different things you can give. It's not only money. You can give good advice. You can give um, your money. You can give anything. Your properties. You can give your time to help even to visit, visitation, visiting the weak, the sick, those who need your help. These are ways to help other people. These are ways to show that you love other people. Then when you love somebody, you will not envy such person when that person has achieved a success that is in higher dimension than yours. One of the ways to love yourself is to stop envying other people. By envying other people, you are destroying yourself. Hallelujah. I want you to get it right. I want you to fix it in your mind. When you jealous or envy others, then you are destroying yourself. Then, lastly, let your aim be to add joy to other people. Add color to other people. This is it for this presentation. Once again, I am Sunday Joseph Adenuga, the pastor of Success Dimension Church, Ibadan, Nigeria. You can contact me through my phone, plus 234-80-540-41462 or mail me at successdimensionchurch at gmail.com. You can visit my blog at www.sourcesgalore.blogspot.com or sourcesdimensionchurch.blogspot.com or motivationfortoday.com It is well with you. God bless you. Now, as you go out this moment, to begin to show love for yourself, may the Almighty God go with you. May He fill you with wisdom and understanding. In Jesus' name, thanks for listening.